images. The music that we make is 100% authentically South African music. It's not made anywhere across the world. It's called Gom, comes from the Tashi streets of Durban. Destruction Boys have sold millions of records, won multiple industry awards, and they've done it by themselves with no major record label. Hugh and Golmax were born here in the township of Kwamashu, which has one of the highest murder rates in South Africa. It was in this house where they created their first album on an old PC. What is it about Kwamashu that inspires that sound that, that you guys make? It has to be the struggles, eh? Yeah, the struggles, yeah. It has to be the struggles. I mean, the crime is on an all-time high. People, if you can show them, like, that came from Kwamashu, maybe they won't believe. They won't believe you. Why? Because like Kamashu is just like a township, um, a boy, just a hood. With no major record label behind them, Destruction Boys have relied on social media and local taxis playing their music to get noticed. But despite their tiny setup, this summer Destruction Boys performed at one of Europe's largest dance festivals. They've also played gigs in London. See the music go from here to there, it's pretty awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. We're still in awe, like we're shocked. Who are you? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that, man. But we're yeah. really happy that um, we came with something truly South African and authentic and people actually fell in love with it. So. In their own studio, Q and Golmax are in control of their sound. Having already gone gold and platinum, it's the reason why they haven't signed to a major record label. And they say they don't want to be exploited. Ownership is a very key thing here in South Africa because a lot of people don't own a lot of things that they do for themselves. So we want to own everything that we do. They want to perform in Ibiza, where the world's top DJs play, and follow in the footsteps of famous South African artists Black Coffee and Euphonic. Euphonic has been in the music industry for more than 20 years, working independently. But even he admits it has its limitations. It's definitely difficult. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Um, and the thing is about the music business is that like, you can be a musician that really loves music, but ultimately, at the end of the day, this thing is a business. If you're an artist in South Africa, you don't really need a major, but if you've got global ambitions, then you definitely do. For many South African artists, keeping their sound true to its roots is hugely important. But to make the biggest impact with their music, it means they may inevitably have to give up some control. Nomi Rickbell, BBC News.